In this video I'm going to create this tropical paradise that you see now. I'm going to do it as quickly as I can, which will be under 30 minutes in real time. This will be an entirely procedural terrain, that's not ideal for gameplay, but in later videos I'll show you how you can edit the terrains to create challenging gameplay areas within them. To create this procedural terrain, I'll be using Unity 2019 and three assets, Gaia Pro, Tropical Forest Pack and Enviro. Though Enviro is optional since Gaia Pro does have sky lighting and weather included, I just prefer Enviro. These assets are linked in the description. Please consider clicking on the links down there because that gives me a small cut of any purchase you make and that buys me coffee so I can make more videos. This will also work with Gaia 2, so if you don't have Gaia Pro or you're on a budget, go get Gaia 2. It has many of the same features, it does lack some important stuff but nothing that we're using in this video. You'll also see me using a tropical forest biome inside of Gaia Pro. The biomes themselves I made, um, you can download those from the link in the description and in the next video I'm going to show you how I made them so you'll be able to tweak them to your heart's content and make them just right for your environment. When that video is published I'll add a link up above and into the description of this video. If it's not there right now hit subscribe and you'll be notified. What you see on screen right now is a rendered version of the scene. This is really rich in vegetation and so on and doesn't perform particularly well because of that. In gameplay, you would want to do some optimizations to make this run at a decent speed, but I'm going for looks here. In later videos, we'll look at some tools for optimizing the way it will run in game. So let's get going. First things first, let's set up the terrain with Gaia Pro. I'm using a large terrain here, which is two kilometers square. Plenty big enough for a player to wander around and have fun. I'm using the powerful desktop setup, as I'm just a show off, and as noted in the intro, I'm going for quality rendered video here rather than gameplay. Once the train is created, we need to set up the Gaia stamp and the biomes for textures and vegetation. Here I'm using the tropical forest biome. As I noted earlier, you can download this for free from the description below, but you will need to own the tropical forest pack. I'll also add the runtime for Gaia. All these items are optional. I'm not going to use the Sky's runtime, so I'll uncheck that as I'm using Enviro. However, if you don't own Enviro, leave that checked. It'll look great. Now we are ready to create our terrain height map. Since I'm going to go as quickly as possible, I'm just going to use one of the built-in terrain stamps that comes with Gaia. Normally I'd use a few of these stamps to ensure the terrain had the feel I'm looking for, but the speed is what I'm after now, so just click and go. I want to see the terrain from two angles as I work on it. So I move the fly cam into position by focusing in in the scene view, selecting the fly cam and hitting shift control F to position it where the scene view is. Now I apply the textures to the biome but without any vegetation. This is so that I can get a better feel for how the vegetation will be planted and make sure that everything looks good. The brown areas here will be dense forest, the green lighter forest and then of course you'll have the sand and the beach and so on. Looks good, so now let's spawn all the vegetation. And after a few moments, it's done. Okay, this looks good, but the lighting's pretty dull. Gaia can provide lighting settings, but as noted earlier, I'm using Enviro. There's nothing wrong with the Gaia solution, I just prefer the control that Enviro gives. Fortunately, there's one-click integration between Gaia and Enviro, so let's use that. It can be found in the Extensions tab of the Gaia Manager. Once configured, you control Enviro just the way you normally would. I have my own profile that I'm using here. As with the biomes, you can download this configuration below. It's entirely free, but you will need Enviro. In the next video, I'll show you how I created it. This lighting's working really well now, but we can definitely improve it. So let's add some post-processing. Again, the post-processing profile is downloadable from below. And that's it. 
Here's the final result using a Pegasus camera fly-through and Unity recorder to ensure a solid frame rate. There's a video linked above if you want to know how to do that. This terrain was made in under 30 minutes in real time. The original setup of the biomes, lighting profiles and post profiles was about 5 hours, but you can grab those from below. I'll edit that 5 hours down to about 15 to 20 minutes so you can see how they're created and create your own or improve on these. Using these biomes and lighting profiles, both you and I can now churn out tropical islands at quite a pace though the assets do cost a little bit of money like i said earlier do think about clicking on my links below if you're gonna buy i need coffee otherwise i can't do these videos but what about turning these terrains into game levels well that's for another video so why not subscribe in the meantime enjoy the tropics